Okay, so we're in the we're talking about uh, function operations and compositions, and this is actually a big one right here. This is a, a, a huge concept in calculus, and I think really one of one of the largest concepts that you'll that you'll encounter in calculus. Um, it's it's so important. Okay, in calculus they take this idea and they expand it a little bit further. So we're going to kind of scratch the surface of some calculus here. But let's go ahead and take a look. We're looking at the difference quotient. All right, so what is this? It is when you plug in f of x plus h into a function, and then you subtract that original function, and then you divide it by, by that difference h. There's a lot more to explain here, but perhaps uh, a video for another time. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I like to break this up into small pieces. Okay, I like to break this up into small pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in f of x plus h into this original function and I'm going to figure out what it is that I get. So I have 4 times x plus h and then minus 9. So I'm going to distribute the 4 and let's see what I get. I get 4x plus 4h minus 9. So there's no like terms there to combine. Okay. The very next step is for me to say, okay, well, what is this top part? What is f of x plus h minus f of x? So if you notice, I kind of take it into some smaller steps. I call them baby steps. So I've got f of x. I now have f of x plus h. Now I'm going to find this difference. So this right here, f of x plus h, was the result from this step over here. So let's see here. We get 4x plus 4h minus 9 minus, okay, now I'm going to subtract f of x, so I'm going to put it in parentheses, 4x minus 9. So now my trick here is to do some simple distribution, and I get 4x plus 4h minus 9 minus 4x plus 9. And when I combine like terms, it's pretty easy to see what happens, okay? So the 4x and the minus 4x cancel themselves out, and the minus 9 and the plus 9 cancel themselves out. So this leaves me with my f of x plus h minus f of x being equal to 4h. And the last step is to do the quotient. So I'm going to divide this by h, and consequently I will divide this by h. So what are we left with? Well, in this case, the h's cross themselves out, leaving me with just 4. So the difference quotient here is just 4. All right. Now there's a deeper connection here to calculus, but like I said, I'm not going to go, go uh, any with more detail into this. Um, but uh, definitely a really, a really big concept that you really just need to know for calculus. Okay, so let's take a look at this other example right here. All right. So we're going to follow the same process, the baby steps. So let's find f of x plus h. All right, so this one's a nice one. I really like this one. This one's kind of fun. All right, let's see. All right, we plug in the x plus h there. Now, this right here is a binomial square. So I'm going to write a note to you that that is a binomial square. And if you remember, a binomial square looks something along the lines of this. All right, I will put a link in the description for my video on the binomial square. I mean, it's really this is just a concept in algebra that you need to remember, and it's very useful in calculus. So this is a binomial square. So I'm going to expand this very, very quickly. I'm going to get 7 times x squared plus 2hx plus h squared, all right? And then I'm going to distribute this right here, and I'm going to get plus 9x plus 9h. Now I'm going to distribute the 7, all right? And then try to see if I can't combine any like terms. So let's see here. I get 7x squared plus 14hx plus 7h squared plus 9x plus 9h. Okay, so it does not appear here that I can cancel 
or combine any like terms because everything seems to be its own type of term. So we'll leave this as my f of x plus h. And now my job is going to be to find f of x plus h minus f of x, which is the difference, again, here in the difference quotient. So here's the difference. So let's see, we've got 7x squared plus 14hx plus 7h squared plus 9x plus 9h. So it's quite a mouthful there. So minus, and then I'm going to subtract f of x, this guy right there. So minus 7x squared, and then plus the 9x, and I distribute, okay? So again, let me write that again. What do I get? Let me rewrite the label here. All right, it is 7x squared plus 14hx plus 7h squared plus 9x plus 9h minus 7x squared minus 9x. Now let me see if I can't cancel anything out. Okay, so I see 7x squared and minus 7x squared, and I see 9x and minus 9x. So this leaves my difference to be, and I'm going to rewrite the label once more, f of x plus h minus f of x equals 14hx plus 7h squared uh, plus 9h. Okay, and then the last part here is just to take the quotient now. So what we're going to do, just divide this guy by h, divide this guy by h. And when we do that, we have the difference quotient. And we're going to factor out or divide an h out from everything. So this is going to give me 14x plus 7h plus 9. Okay, so there's my difference quotient. Now let me just give you a little hint for calculus. There's only one more step that you'd need to perform in order to really turn this into a calculus problem. Okay, but we'll leave it here. And uh, like I said, the difference quotient is really important. All right, so let me just flash back so you can see what the difference quotient was. This is the difference quotient, and it's a huge concept in calculus. So I hope this video is helpful, and hopefully you do get to calculus. Um, because it's, it's a really, really great um, part of math to, to study.